Noah was born about a month before his due date by emergency C-section, and he was uh, the big kid in the neonatal intensive care nursery. He was about five pounds and a couple ounces, and he was not breathing when he was delivered, and in the course of intubating him and putting a breathing tube down his neck, unfortunately, his second vertebrae, um, cervical vertebrae, number two, was fractured. Three months later, he received surgery, a spinal fusion, and he is well and healthy now. He's a seventh grader in a Palo Alto Middle School. He takes regular classes. He works very hard. He's a very diligent student. Um, and he has an aide for all of his courses. He has a full-time aide. She is basically there to do the physical things that Noah can't do. Um, but he is responsible for his own homework, his own presentations at school, you know, all the things that every student is required to do, Noah is required to do. And his favorite thing to do during the week is to go um, carriage driving. He drives a horse carriage on Wednesday afternoons, and it is by far the highlight of his week. He really looks forward to it and kind of measures his week from Wednesdays. He loves to kayak, and he's a pretty active guy. His favorite thing is music, live music of any kind. Noah and I went to a poetry reading at the Silicon Valley Independent Living Center, which is a nonprofit organization where I volunteer on the board of directors. And Noah's been studying a little bit of poetry and creative writing in school, so I asked him if it was something he'd like to do because there were a couple of guest poets and he was interested in going. For what you say, for how you look, if every time you stop to think of yourself, you do not see yourself glowing with golden light, do not, therefore, give up on yourself. You can get proud. You do not need a better body or a pure spirit or a PhD to be proud. You do not need a lot of money or a handsome boyfriend or a nicer car. You get proud by practicing. <laughs>